Alrighty, Lumberjacks, welcome back, and today will be our very first uh, developer roundtable, as we've uh, decided to call it. So basically what we're going to do in these little developer roundtables is we're going to um, discuss kind of our progress in our modding to kind of give you guys an idea of what's coming for the future. Uh, we've had lots of questions, lots of emails, lots of comments asking, when's the Farming Simulator 2019 mods going to come out? Uh, you know, are you guys working on it? Are there going to be mods for 2019? So we definitely uh, are working on mods right now, uh, everybody on the team. And actually today on the team we have uh, both Chad and uh, Josh joining us. Josh is our main guy for modeling as well as texturing. So you're, you're going to see a bunch of his work today. So I'll let Josh say hello. Hello, Josh. How's it going? Good, good. So Josh is our, our main guy. He's joined uh, with FDR Logging for uh, the models and such. He's done some amazing work so far. And like I said, uh, I'll show you some pictures on the screen here as we go. We're kind of doing this podcast style. So uh, there's nothing you'll see on our end. So I'll just kind of flash images of our progress as we go here. Uh, we're also joined by Chad today, and if you don't know Chad by now, well, then you're not a console player. So, Chad, say hello. Hello. <laughs> so we got Chad and uh, Josh here today. So uh, for all future developer roundtables, uh, like these little videos, um, we are sending these to Patreons only, just to show development. And like I said, the Patreons are the people who kind of keep the whole process going. They're the ones who donate money monthly, they subscribe. So this initial video that we're making is public for, for everybody to see because I want you guys to know that we are going to mod and you know what we're working on. But if you guys want to actually follow our progress uh, on what we're making, what we're doing, kind of give you an update on things, uh, you can go over to the Patreon website there. There's a link in the description. Uh, and go join up and you'll be able to follow along. Just to go over what we're going to be working on, uh, our first mods that we're working on right now is I have uh, a map going, and I'll, I'll show some screenshots of that right now. Um, basically, we have... Uh, it's an unnamed map at the moment. We don't have a, a name set or anything like that. Uh, it's going to be a, a total forestry-only, logging-only map. And the other thing we're working on is the, uh, the Tiger Cat... 880 loader or 875 you can we haven't decided on which one we're going to land on because the uh, body styles are pretty much identical um, so josh has been mainly working on that project right now and he's done some beautiful work with the grapples beautiful work with the uh the uh the arms the boom the whole body he's reworking that machine really well so far now uh as far as timeline goes um you know like i'll let you guys i'll let josh uh, kind of give the intro for that like how much how much time do you think roughly it'll take to uh, get the model completed so that we can move it into like the functionality stage? I'm liking to hope about probably middle of December. I'm hoping to have it completely done. Now yeah. That's the entire body cab, uh, basically ready to go with the diffuses and everything. Yeah, it's fantastic. So that when we do get this oh. to final, it'll be you know something something pretty, right? So. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like last night, I mean, I was up all night just working on the body of it alone in the cab, you know, getting rid of verts that don't need to be there, reconstructing things, adding things so it's a solid mesh instead of having, you know, 40 different objects yeah. to make up one. Oh, machine. for sure. And uh, like while Josh is working on these uh, models and stuff, so not only is he bringing in uh, like a lot more detail to them, he's also bringing in a lot more optimization. So when he talks about verticals, polygons, that kind of stuff, uh, basically what happens is when we're looking at mods, there's a certain limit of verticals, which are basically the shapes uh, and edges and the you know the fine details that create up all the triangles, I guess, for the model. So the more of those that you have in a model, the more detail maybe, but if they're not done correctly, if you have too many, it also causes a huge performance loss in the game. So by having uh, Josh go through and do you know these optimization tests and these details and just revision after revision, not only is he bringing the detail level up, but he's also keeping the performance level at a very reasonable state. So when we do get these mods out for consoles or we get them out for PC, um, they will be the best performance that they can be. Chad, what kind of time frame is it from the point you submit uh, a mod of any kind, whether it's a map or machine, to when it actually gets like published? It depends on um, how many times it actually is sent back from Giants. 
uh, from any like shaders or texture issues. Yeah, because they they like make you do like revisions, <clears throat> right? Yeah, it has to be perfectly optimized to be able to get to console, and so it's it's things that we don't have the tools to actually test ourselves. Right. They're they're the ones that have to test it and then send back saying it was good or bad. Is it just like um, it's just testing like like console testing like do they basically yeah. put do you think they put it on like an Xbox or a PlayStation 4 and like actually play it or is it just a program or they, something that runs They do um they activate it on like a, a private network Okay so they can download it onto their PS4 Oh crazy or uh Xbox whatever And then do they have like um, they probably have development tools or something to check like the console and all that fun stuff hey yeah, they, um, from one of their live streams, they said that they had uh, like a PS4 uh, SDK. Okay. And so it, it it's seems like they have some additional tools where they don't have to go all the way to the console network, so they can oh, like, just load it locally. Okay, and then that way they can actually give it but a thorough testing. So is that why it takes only we so had long? <laughs> yeah, right? No kidding, right? Yeah, if only they would give us the SDK for console, then we can actually do our own yeah. testing for it. But um, now, so... in the past for uh, 2017, yeah, when I was doing that, um, I would send in a mod, and generally, I I would get an answer back within a week for the first round. Right. And usually, that's something that that they have where they can go through and test all the textures and stuff. Of course, in this game, the textures are completely different. Right. Um, there, There's some things as far as maps that seem to be the same. Okay. Um, they said that the like buildings and stuff can still use their own textures. Oh, interesting. So it, it seems like map-wise, it hasn't changed too much. Right. Um, other than the... the functionality abilities like buying your land type thing well i mean even playing in our um, editors and stuff it seems very like like um we've been playing basically with the editor and testing out uh map building and stuff like i've been building maps and stuff so far and the functionality of the map editors and stuff seems very very familiar and very similar to what we did before with maybe a minor a uh, couple extra things but i think functionality wise we're not looking at like a huge change from trying to submit maps and stuff like that i think it'll be pretty straightforward Console again is always its own fickle beast for what they'll pass and what won't pass. So, um, yeah. I don't know if I, I don't know if I actually answered the time frame, but yeah. Um, well, yeah. So, like, so I, I submit it to Giants, and then I I get the first thing back within a week. Right. And that's generally the first step. And then after that, I submit it again. I get it back in another week. Right. So it, it's constantly like that. Yeah, and, and you have to wait every time. Any right? little. Any little detail that they don't like, I have to get it back and wait another week. And then, and that's that's the problem Just... I've heard from lots of guys who submit to console is that um, when they do this testing, it's not like they write down a whole list of all the things you need to fix and it's one shot, one kill, you get those fixed, you can get it on console. Um, it's a constant revision process. So um, they might find one error right off the bat. They write down the error, they send it back to you. Great. Okay, now you resubmit it. It takes another week to get a revision back. You get the revision. They say, okay, now we found this. Well, it's, it would be nicer if they would give us the full, um, like, you know, the full problems listed that they found so that you could address a lot more at one shot. But I think that's mainly the process to why it takes so long just to get these mods onto console is you're constantly doing these revisions. And like Chad said, you don't get an answer for, like, a week, and then you wait, and then you have to revise, yeah. and then you revise. So... Like to try to to try to give you guys a time frame is really hard and it's not super realistic for us to be able to do because it's so so difficult to predict, you know, what's gonna be the problem, how long is it gonna take, how many hundreds of mods are they getting submitted daily for console that they have to sort through, you know. Uh basically what's gonna happen is once the mods are out there, we're gonna be putting them onto the website. So if you guys haven't been there yet to download mods or do anything, it's just www.fdrlogging.com. Very straightforward, very simple. Um it'll bring you to the page there. You can select your game, uh download the mods. I have a I have a couple videos on it, but so if you're ever wondering where to check on mods to see if there's new mods, um you can either come to YouTube here and check 
uh, you know, for any recent videos about mod releases, or you can just go to www.fdrlogging.com and click on whichever game of your choice and go through the mods and see if there's anything new there. Um, so yeah, other than that, I mean, this is, uh, this is pretty straightforward for our first developer round table. Um, again, we will have future episodes coming out. Uh, it's going to be for Patreons only for future development stuff. So if you guys are interested in following along and you want to know kind of the inner workings of what we're doing, pictures, videos, you know, that kind of stuff, um, head over to Patreon. You guys can join up and follow along. Um, uh, it's a pretty fun process. It's going to be, it's going to be really interesting to see what we, we get into, but hopefully this answers most of you guys' uh, concerns. If you guys have any questions, comments, um, you know, anything like that, feel free to throw them in the comments below. Um, we'll do our best to answer anything that we can or anything that we know. Um, both Chad and Josh, uh, Josh is known as Bobcat Logger. And Chad is <clears throat> known as uh, Mithras uh, Catalyst on there. So if you see any comments from either of those, um, these guys will answer them to the best of their ability. I'll answer mine to the best of my ability. But, uh, yeah, if you guys have any concerns, let us know. If not, uh, thanks to Chad and Josh for joining me on this little adventure-esque mod team video. And uh, keep your eyes open for future uh, developer roundtable episodes. And, uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.